every star has to die, but we are lucky enough to currently have a front row seat to watching one of the biggest and brightest stars in our night sky come to the end of its life. This star is Betelgeuse and it makes up the shoulder in the Orion constellation and for many it is kind of this beacon of astronomy. It's one of the first stars that many of us learn to spot in the night sky. It's really easy to spot because of its really bright red vibrant colour. It is so bright and red because it is something called a red supergiant. And if we had to class life cycles of stars, this one would be in its old age. In 2019, astronomers like myself got incredibly excited because we saw something that we had never seen before happening at Betelgeuse. Data being collected, we started to see that Betelgeuse was getting fainter than we had ever previously seen it before. And this was both exciting and maybe a little alarming. For a while there, we suspected that this could be a death rattle before a giant explosion. You see, Betelgeuse is so large that we know it has to die in something called a supernova explosion. Supernovae occur when the star can no longer fuse elements, the pressure pushing outwards is not enough to escape the forces of gravity, and the star collapses in on itself. This causes extreme physics to happen. Lots of heat, lots of pressure. And for something like Betelgeuse, we expect it to leave behind either a neutron star or a black hole. These supernova explosions are absolutely incredible. We have some evidence from history that different civilizations have seen different supernovas over the times, but none in modern history right next door in our galaxy. And one reason why this is so exciting is it is gonna be incredibly bright in the night sky, but it might even be bright enough for us to see it during the day. That is some serious power. But I don't want to talk about the death of Betelgeuse, at least not yet. I want to talk about why it dimmed, because the research behind it is nothing short of incredible. A research group led by Andrea Dupree from Harvard University used the Hubble Space Telescope to try and capture data on what was happening with Betelgeuse. And they did exactly that. They uncovered the cause of the great dimming, and it might surprise you. The research suggests that Betelgeuse underwent something called a surface mass ejection. This is when the star expels some plasma and magnetic flux straight outwards into space. We don't fully understand what causes these surface mass ejections and we think it's pretty similar to the coronal mass ejections that we see happening on our own sun. It is likely they are caused by destabilization within the large scale magnetic structure around the stars. When Betelgeuse lost some of its material, it began to cool down and effectively become opaque, meaning that to us and our vantage point, Betelgeuse looked like it was dimming. We can use the dimming to then figure out how much mass had to have been ejected for this to occur, and the numbers really are astronomical. It is the largest surface mass ejection we have ever seen in the history of astronomy. In this one event, Betelgeuse lost 400 billion times more mass than we would typically see on other stars. In fact, it is multiple times the mass of the moon ejected out into space at breakneck speeds. We're now trying to figure out, is this type of event common on stars that are coming to the end of their lives? Or was it just a fluke that occurred in Betelgeuse this one time? We are kind of studying stellar evolution in real time before our eyes. And it is truly remarkable because Betelgeuse is going to give us so much information as it comes to the end of its life. Betelgeuse wasn't always this big though, it would have started out as a much smaller star. And as it began to fuse heavier and heavier elements, it began to expand to the size that it is today. This would have happened over tens of millions of years. The final nail in the coffin for stars like this is when they begin to burn iron. Iron releases no energy in the fusion process and it kind of just halts the entire process. With no pressure pushing outwards anymore in the star, gravity takes over and everything begins to collapse down. 
and we see explosions like this almost every day from galaxies far, far away. And this is why so many astronomers are excited to see the process that Betelgeuse takes to get there. Because once we understand that, we might understand a little bit more about the entire evolution of stars from birth to death. As with all of the stars in the night sky though, we are seeing it how it once was. And Betelgeuse is roughly 640 light years away from us, meaning this happened 640 years ago. In reality, Betelgeuse could have exploded and we wouldn't know until that light reached us here on Earth. And I think this part of physics just makes it all a lot more exciting. Just wondering what could have happened that we don't yet know. 